Well, hello internets, here we are with a little bit of a vlog. A few things that I've experienced, I've noticed, and want to share. And yeah, so, here we go. Well, I've been out doing, trying to do a few things been running into some roadblocks and uh, dealing with some very interesting people out there. People who are getting paid to do a job, people who are getting paid to um, be nice to customers, people who seem to not be enjoying the fact that they have a job. I know taking crap from customers all day sometimes gets frustrating but at the same time treating customers that aren't giving you any trouble uh, poorly is a very bad business practices I've had issues um, recently with a certain business that provides a very important service to many customers this business I've used for many, many, many years and only went away from it for about six months back uh, uh, two, three years ago when my doctor was down the far end of town. Over the last year or so, I've had more issues with them than I've had in like the previous 20 Issues like giving me somebody else's medications. Issues like refu refusing to refill a very, very inf important uh, medication that I didn't realize that I was out of. And as a result, I had to wait a month and a half to get back into my doctor in order to get this new medication refilled refusing to give me an extra inhaler just to get by until I can get into uh, said doctor, things like that. Things that the, this place used to do for, for me or for other customers on a regular basis. Now, if their policies have changed, well then it should be stated. If the, other if the other staff of the pharmacy was bending the rules and playing favorites or whatever, then it should be stated. I've noticed since the whole uh, COVID thing, the staff there have changed. So I don't know if a bunch of the staff quit or if a bunch of the staff died or if a bunch of staff got fired because they can hire a new um, diverse staff for uh, far cheaper well if, if the, if the uh, far cheaper staff is doing a much uh, poorer job and then the other staff then whoever made the choice made a, made a wrong choice it's uh, it's frustrating I've been in other businesses lately too uh, a certain uh, big business that just built a brand new building in town has put some of their tools behind glass so now you can't just grab and go to the, the till and pay you have to wander around the huge store until you find a staff with keys or a staff period <laughs> and then they radio a staff with keys and then you go wander back over to the tools and that staff finally shows up like 15, 20 minutes later. Well, 15, 20 minutes may not seem like a lot, but when you're on a deadline or you only have a certain amount of uh, energy to expel to get this tool before you're wrecked, standing there waiting for some person to show up that doesn't really want to, uh, doesn't really make sense. I remember back when I used to work retail, when the phone would ring, I would answer. When the wonderful walkie-talkie would squawk, I would answer. When I was called, I would answer. Even if I was with another customer, I would still answer and say, hey, I'm on my way 
or hey I'm with a customer be there in 10 or hey I'm with a customer I'm in this aisle come get the keys and uh, you know make sure you bring them back kind of a thing I've uh, thought about returning to the work world but if this is what the work world is I'll either end up working myself uh, uh, into the hospital or I will uh, end up leaving in extreme frustration after the first few, uh, few shifts and you know I don't know if the next generation of, of kids out there the the younger generation is just that poor at their job or if enough people have uh, come here that have zero customer service skills and they've flooded the market with cheap labor and and that's the result or I have no idea what's going on I it's not just me other people on social media are feeling the same way other family members that I talk to are feeling the same way so at first I thought it was me and my high standards you know, so to say that may 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 have been the issue but no it's not not just me i don't know how to fix this i don't know how it's going to be fixed is is uh automation the key getting rid of the unhappy staff and uh the customer comes orders online a big robot comes and drops the tool down and uh as long as you've paid for the tool then everything is happy or or is it teaching people manners and respect and responsibility and and uh, work ethic um, things like that which could take two or three generations to to uh, rebuild or instill back into people it's uh, I see it all over the place every every place I'm in every store that I'm in every business um, even the simple jobs it seems that people aren't happy in much less the ones that are complicated and complex and overwhelming things like that the things that we used to have to do when we were working whether it was retail or fast food we'd have to do alone or by ourselves or without any help there's two or three staff now working the same the same project because one staff can't mentally handle it on their own I remember back in the day I used to work coffees alone at, at the coffee shop and uh, this is with a single machine. Now they got three or so machines and like two staff jammed in that corner. Back in the day there used to be a single staff in drive through Now some drive throughs have two staff in them because they can't handle both taking orders and handling money. These are these are drive-throughs that have uh, two windows to boot. We only had one. <laughs> uh, the stuff that they expected out of us for far less of a wage. Man, these guys are getting paid just uh, like a dollar fifty less an hour than the job that I was working, where I broke my hand, where I was dirty and sore and and abused and bruised. Man, if they paid me that kind of wage to, to work those jobs, I would still be there because that's the best I ever got paid for that kind of job. I only just made the $20 an hour mark when I got written off. And it's like a person works their whole life, puts their whole career, and uh, never does achieve the full potential of what they ever wanted to do. Granted, my career was shut, uh, cut short by probably 20 to 25 years, but, you know, that's kind of the way it is, right? The way she goes sometimes. So a person kind of just has to make the choice themselves. Either stop shopping in them stores, stop uh, going to those doctors, switch to another doctor, stop buying that specific brand of vehicle, or stop servicing your vehicle at uh, at that particular location or or switch to another provider of medications which is like six more in this town and really there's no reason why you you can't bounce around from 
from place to place because you never sign nothing to say that you'd be loyal to one business only or, or uh, one fast food place or one restaurant only. It's not like a mortgage where you're in a, a 25 year mortgage where you can't move anywhere else. You can, uh, you can switch as you choose and you shouldn't bounce around from pharmacist to pharmacist or doctor to doctor too quickly because you can be accused of like double doctoring to get uh, extra medication or whatever. But if you have a legitimate real reason for it and uh, you know, uh, one doctor every few years, then you can justify it, right? I don't know, just something I had on my mind that I wanted to share and put it out there and see what you guys' feelings were. Have you experienced the same thing? Is, uh, is uh, your area where you're in suddenly feel like a foreign area? with totally different uh, work environment, totally different mentality of people, totally different um, vibes or spirit than what it used to be? Or, or has your area always been like that and it's just the world is starting to spread out and infiltrate the quieter, um, peaceful, more family friendly areas like it never did? Leave your comments below. And as always, thank you for watching, comment, subscribe, and enjoy.